two-part question um, about Goldman Sachs now shorting the dollar. Um, yeah. What do you think about that? About um, how do you think the landscape will look after the um, the election and up leading up to the election and after? And what is your take on um, USA's USA Watchdogs um, perspective? Because they believe that Trump is actually uh, trying to save America. Those three, and I know you have something to say about all three of them. So please, yeah, answer. I do. Well, we'll start off with USA Watchdog. Greg Hunter is delusional. Uh, we do not talk anymore. Uh, and that, the reason is, is he's lost. I, I really have to, I hate to say it, because I was very close to the man. <laughs> I was um, at one particular time. I even reached out to him several times uh, to try to patch it up. But the man, is um, he, he, he's going off the deep end in a big way, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> but, that, but that's just that. So, you know, Greg can have his theory out there. It's been proven to be 100% wrong. I mean, everyone with an eye, with just one functioning brain cell can see that that's true. Okay. With regard to the dollar, in my view, it's a dying asset. I've been saying that for the longest time. It doesn't surprise me at all that a Wall Street bank is shorting the dollar here. Um, there are many ways to be short the dollar. You could be long gold. Um, you know, you don't have to be, for example, betting uh you know, buying puts against the dollar, you could be holding gold. If you're holding gold, if you're holding silver, if you're holding platinum, palladium, or cryptocurrency, in my view, you are taking up a position against the dollar, which is a unit of debt. That's all it is. Uh, it's not a unit of wealth. It's a unit of debt. Not only is it a unit of debt, you don't even own them. The dollars that we have are owned by the Federal Reserve, and they're owed back to the Federal Reserve plus interest that they print out of thin air. We, I think it's pretty much common knowledge that we are in fact going back, uh, going to, excuse me, uh, a completely digital dollar. There only exists 1.9 trillion actual printed dollars on earth. The rest of it is doesn't exist. It's not on the elemental chart. Um, you can verify this just by going to the Federal Reserve's own website, how much currency is in circulation. It's about 1.9 trillion. So all the rest of it is just, it's not, it's just not there. So yeah, I think I've been trying to explain to people that they need to be their own central bank, bet against the debt forever, and that means holding a hard asset. So I've been net short the dollar for a very, very long time.